All right, guys, so today we made $299.53 on Intel. Take a quick look at this trade. As you can see, I bought 1,000 shares at 32.1. bought it in the after hours when it sold off. And there's a reason I bought it there, so let me show you. And then I sold it at 32.41. I'm going to be looking to make a re-entry on this tomorrow because I will break down the level why I think it's going to hold. But let's just look at year to date. We're starting to add up here, up 15,000 on the year. So starting to get there in gains, which is nice. But let's just go through the Weeble chart. Let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so looking at the chart on Intel, it looked pretty bad. We had a sell off right after earnings from $35 all the way down to 31.8. That was a 10% pullback, which you can see on the top left of the screen. I decided to buy around 420, so I bought right in here. This is where I bought. That was my entry. And I decided to hold them because I was actually thinking about just holding them overnight. But one of my rules is to really not hold overnight, especially with a larger position. And although it did go up and I sold and took profits at 32.441, we don't know where it's going to go. I just want to give it some time. But, but if you look at like just the five-year chart, when I was looking at the past two years, you can see that there is clearly support at the 32 range. So what I've been doing is around 32, I drew this out and there's just support because you can't even see it here because it's not showing the after hours on Weeble. But if you look, just it's trading at $32 right now. So if you look over here, you have multiple bounces here, here, and here, which is all at your 32 range. So that's why I took that trade at $32. I'm going to buy them again tomorrow, probably same position, $32, 30, 31.9, for try to get a quick scalp in there as well. I mean, this is just oversold at this point. Just looking at the max chart of Intel, you can see that it rode all the way up 63 and now back at $30. I feel like I'm getting a bargain deal here because year to date, we're down, we're at $50. So, I mean, look at that drawback, $50 all the way down to... It's like a 35% drawdown. So for me, that's a no brainer. I'm definitely gonna be looking to build more uh, position in them. And just looking at the one year, the RSI is super low at 30. We might have some more downside, but I'm okay with that. I definitely just wanna build a position in them. Maybe I'll add it to the taxable portfolio. $30 is really where I want them. I wanna see, hopefully we can get them a little bit lower, but this is true support right here. You could see it right in this range around $30, right here, right there, right there, right there. So we'll take a look. And it's not like they did bad on their earnings. Let's just review their earnings real quick. So if you go on the Fidelity website and you click on view all right here, you can see I have Intel up the stock right here, INTC. I go under view all, start scrolling down, it'll give you information about Intel. But most importantly, if you keep going down, you'll see earnings. And right here in this corner, it'll show us how they did. So what happened was Intel, it was expected that they were going to make 14 cents per share, but Intel actually produced 18 cents per share. So they actually beat earnings per share by 0.04. So that's a good sign right there. It was really their guidance that brought them down looking forward in the months to come. Now, I just want to show you another reason why I'm thinking about adding them to the taxable portfolio long term. Intel as you can see, offers a dividend, you get 1.45%. So I like that. And you can see over there in their earnings, I mean, it's not like they're not doing bad. They're beating their earnings every single quarter by 19 cents, 9 cents and 4 cents. Yeah, that's trending down. Their revenue went down a little bit, wasn't as much as they expected. But look at the statistics over here. Look at their profit margin here. Their profit margin for Intel is 61%. That's what I want to see if I'm going to see a company that's going to keep growing. And Intel's getting that, you know, they're just to me, it's a better company to invest in long term, I'm not looking for short term trades, even though I just short term traded them. But when they go from $35 to 32 in less than 20 minutes, I think I can scalp some gains out of there. And just looking at this one year chart here, I mean, we can see that there's clear support here. This is nice and easy on Fidelity. You can see it right here. You can see it right in here, right in this area. So hopefully we get a little more drawback and then we'll take a real position. I want them at $30 is really where I want them. $32, I think, I think it's definitely a good good spot to get a position in. But overall, we'll have to wait and see. 
All right, guys, this is my channel. I just want to show you it. So April, we're going to add these gains. So far, we have a few more days left in April. We'll add this to the next stock that we're going to buy. Let me show you what we're doing with the taxable portfolio. We're using the YouTube money to buy stocks. So let's take a look at it. So this is what we've been buying with the YouTube money. So far, we have Starbucks. We have $500 in Starbucks. Average price, $90 a share. We're down 2.56%. We bought Tesla. $500, $154 a share. Baba, $508 at 71.96, up 4%. And then our growth fund that we continue to add to every single Monday, we have 14,000 in there at 90% of the portfolio. But as you can see, the portfolio is growing. It is up 2,100 so far total. And we just continue to add to it as we go. But at the end of April, we will add the gains from YouTube. Maybe hopefully we get up to like maybe 200 bucks. We'll add $200 to a different stock and add it to the group.